Oh my god, okay. So, this is making me mad. Uh, I'm recording, by the way, Ray. So, oh my god. I, I'm, I'm currently in a debate about how... I'm just gonna read... I'm gonna catch you up on the lore real quick. Because uh, there's a lot. Um, I'm debating some other players on, like, correct, correct format or the best format to uh, have a clone drone duel. Yeah. Um, As you can imagine, sites using facts and logic. Yeah. They're using um, like passive aggressive emojis, and they're saying that we're dumb. Yeah, pretty much. So um, basically, someone posted the video of our tournament and was saying like, "Oh man, it sucked because." <laughs> okay, so I, I quoted him here. Let's just go back to it. Because <laughs> bows, ten thousand points, and uh, and one nine one nine nine one one clones. So then, all the way down, I eventually saw that, and I, I, I like, I wasn't going to get a comment on the amount that he was claiming we made because that's obviously an exaggeration. So clones, he's exaggerating from uh, ten, and upgrades, he's exaggerating from two, and then one per death, which equals like twelve. Um, so all the way down, let's go back down. Where am I? Okay, so all the way down, I quoted him. I said, ah, yes, because we didn't ban one of the four weapons that are in the game to be used. Uh, and then someone says, okay, 1,000 points, it's interesting, but bow, bow, bow. I, I don't know what, I, I think he's saying, okay, so what I think that means is that he's saying the fact that we gave more upgrade points made it interesting, but bow was there, one of the weapons that are in the game. Uh, uh, so essentially, you know, to summarize... Uh, Sight uh, says we should keep bow because it's one of the weapons that in the game that's in the game. And then this guy, he says bow is bad. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so then let's see. A nerd comes in. And he says it's just a very annoying weapon if you plan on doing attorney, especially when the standard is usually primarily sword. I I just don't get it. Like. It's just it's I don't know it's it's fascinating. So let me let me just say my my piece on this real quick before we move forward. So the goal of a tournament, we need to establish what the goal of the tournament is. In my mind, it's to figure out who is the best player out of the people competing. So how would we do that? First of all, longer rounds will determine more accurate results. That's just how math works. That's basic basic math. Longer rounds. That's basic, just integral calculus. Yeah. So you want to have the most data as possible. That's how you determine most accurate results. More data equals more accurate results. So longer rounds is one, to, one way to get more data. Uh, how good each player does with each of the weapons that are in the game is another way to get more data. Um, and so is uh, having the round transition from low, uh, lower amount of upgrades to more upgrades. Another way to get more data. So... What I did in our tournament was I gave them two upgrades to start with, so they get each of the two weapons of each round, and then I have them play uh, three rounds, uh, you know, for more accurate data, you know, three rounds, uh, and they can use anything, any of the weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can watch the video if you want to know the rules, but yeah. Basically, I set it up so we can get as much data as we possibly could without, like, making it too long. Um, anyway, so that's my piece on it, and that is the, like, that actually, like, the, <laughs> there's no argument against that. There's, that is the best way to get the most data, which is directly correlated with figuring out who is the best player among that group. There's no denying that. That just is how it is. Anyway, so yeah, you know my piece on it. Uh, they clearly think differently. And I know the standard is like something weird. I don't really know. Anyway, so this guy. You want to talk about bow and armor and how they want to get rid of like. Oh uh, yeah. Certain <laughs> people want to get rid of like half the things you can use in the game. Yeah. So apparently, uh, a lot of people who do dual do, do dual tournaments. They like to they like to get rid of um they like to get rid of armor, uh, jetpack, bow, spear, uh, kick. Oh, and flame breath. And yeah. Is, is there anything else? I think that's all. And uh, if your argument is that uh, using these upgrades would make it um, much easier to kill your opponent, thus not getting a uh, an, an an accurate uh, indication of your skill level. That is the point of every upgrade. Yeah. I, I don't see how having both people able to get something. And they're not overpowered. I mean, people are acting like there's no counter to bow. And there is literally a counter in the game that you can get in duels. And then they'll say, you know, well, we, there's not... I mean, most duels don't give us enough 
upgrades to get that okay solution to that get like don't make it so we don't have enough to get air deflect it's just it's so obvious i i actually don't understand what they're thinking yeah and i'm fine with people doing you know whatever rules they want in duels but you can't say that that's more accurate than what we've done it, it's it's just yeah anyway so moving on this guy comes back in he says it's a good idea to do some research beforehand on duels regarding what players like and don't of course and I suppose that's true. If you want to make a duel that is like just supposed to be like fun and everyone everyone has a good time, that's definitely a, a a good idea. But like I said before, our duel was not supposed to be just like for fun. It was supposed to genuinely gauge which of the which of the uh, people competing was the strongest, you know, with the most, like just has the most overall strength. Um. So then moving down. He says again, well, you could just use a, a better sample size and consider what defines a good player. Uh, so, yeah. so that, I can only assume he's implying that what defines a good player is their skill level with hammer and sword. Yeah, it, it seems that way. Uh, which is not the way that I view it, so... Yeah. Um, and for sample size, I guess he's suggesting that we should have had more people compete, which we, I don't know why he thinks that we just did not, <laughs> like, we didn't have control over that. Like, I, I, I don't think that needs to be said. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was not really up to us. Um, okay, so then Izanami, who is one of the people competing, he says, uh, typing best player in eight players pool. Uh... Well, I assume he's um, implying that uh, because we had only eight players in our tournament, it is not an accurate determinant of who the best player in the world is. suppose that's true. But of course, no one's saying that, <laughs> so... like, And of course, it is also... Um, it's to market the video. Which is yeah, also the point that's... of adding the weird rules because it makes it entertaining. Yeah, like they're so like what they're pointing out, what they're like shaming us for is it seems to be making the video entertaining and accurate and then marketing the video. So essentially doing our job. It seems like can you imagine what are the, what do they think we should have called it? Uh, determining the best player out of the eight players who are competing. Determining uh, the best player on our Discord, maybe? Um, I mean, like that. Do you see how it works so much better if we just say the best player? Like, I, I, yeah. I, 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 like, it's not. It's I guess not... <laughs> we could have called it. I guess we could have just called it Clonedrome into Danger Zone Tournament. But you know, we're not going to do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what they think the damage caused by that is. Do they think that people who watch that video now think that uh, Scarfish is the best player in the world because he won? The, the tournament out of the eight people. Like, I just don't understand. They aren't thinking. They aren't thinking this through. They yeah, aren't thinking they're only through thinking the with their cocks. Saying. Yeah. Uh, so then, oh yeah, this is a weird part. So he replies, this guy replies to me saying, uh, you do realize that the amount of players uh, was out of our control. He says, hold up. The go And then he quotes me saying, the goal was to determine which player is the best and not submit rationality to make players happy. Which somehow in his mind, contradicts the fact that it was out of our control how many players were competing. The fact that we, the fact that the goal was to determine which player is best contradicts the fact that the amount of players competing was out of our control. I guess so. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. The only thing I can think is he's saying, well, if the goal was really to determine which player is best, you would have had more players compete. But that, then again, you know, circling back, it's still not in our control. Yeah. Uh, so then he clarifies. The short answer, we can't. <laughs> yeah. He clarifies again. So if you want to determine the best player, but don't accept that having... At, so if you want to determine the best player, but don't accept that not having the ability to get a larger sample to be a reason for not determining the best player, you are contradicting yourself. And no, I'm not. There is no contradiction there. Uh, it's out of our control, and the goal was to determine the best player. Like... I, 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 yeah, I, so it does. It seems like he thinks 
I mean, I really, I really didn't think I needed to say this, but yeah, the goal was to figure out the best player who was competing, not in the world, obviously. Um, so yeah, I just clarified that for him, sort of helping him along. Uh, so then Izanami comes in, he says, who's the best clone drone player title of the video? So yeah, is he just accusing us of marketing the video that we made? Um, which, oh um, yeah, didn't he say clickbait and then someone replied to it saying that's what it, that's what it was? Um, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, we're still going down. Oh yeah. So then this guy comes in, he says, even if that was the intent, why not go for player satisfaction instead of force half of them to do some abhorrent format? Um, even if that was the intent... So he's essentially he's saying, even if that was the intent, why not not do that? Also, we didn't force them to do anything. We set out rules, and then we told them the rules, and then they agreed to the rules. It's just so weird. I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't get what the effect on them is. That's what I really don't understand. What's the effect on them? How is this negatively affecting them? The fact that we did a tournament with rules that they don't like. Because Izanami, I mean, Izanami competed, I suppose. Is he mad because he lost? I mean, you don't see Scarfish complaining. That's true. Scarfish is a G, and he's just not, he's like, yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, we're just gonna continue on. Uh, so yeah, he says it's clickbait, which is, like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, um... Neek Alexander responds to Izanami saying clickbait, and says, I suppose that was the real goal, yeah. Haha. <laughs> um, which is just being mean i guess i guess that's the point of that i suppose so oh he goes on to say i won't question video editing skills haha ha. um i don't know if that's a compliment or an insult i don't know well moral of the story wait, wait remember a, to think with your mind and not your penis yeah i think there's a bit more though maybe i think it might actually be all yeah oh wow that's all okay great um but yeah it, it is pretty sad to see this because I, I feel like it's not that hard to understand. It's one of the great tragedies, I'd say. I mean, I think the reason that they're getting so upset about this is because it's different than what they're used to, which is fine. Like, again, I want to clarify, I'm not, I'm not saying that their format or the format that like is typically used is bad. It's just not accurate. It's not as accurate as it could be. Um, like, it's fine if you just want to do that, but it's, physically not as accurate as my format and then if you if you don't care about accuracy then again that's fine but i do so i just don't get why they're getting so upset about me caring about accuracy taking steps to be accurate and then just like doing that yeah they're just getting mad at us for doing it that's the real problem yeah it, it's just it's so weird but yeah that was Let's just hope we don't uh start getting spammed with Shono supremacy memes. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will uh, see you guys in the next one. That was just a little update on, uh, I guess, the drama that's going on. Not really drama yet, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, see ya. Yeah, we'll see you in the next um, like episode.